In the last episode, we were learning the game. And I sucked at it. Let's try to redeem ourselves. What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to this thing we call the Outer Middle Show. My voice cracked twice. Mad Vlad is the name. Finding Bigfoot is the game, and in today's episode, we're gonna try to kill Bigfoot in a more dramatic and effective manner. <laughs> Because last time in the game, I played it for quite some time. And I didn't know how to use- I didn't even know there was a fucking map till the end of the game, so... I'm gonna try to redeem myself. I know how everything works now. I know that we've got a map. What is that green thing? We haven't found all the survivors yet either. We found one. He was dead. He was a rotting carcass. Just lying there. Lifeless. He smelled like Funyuns. Let's go ahead and, uh, stock up on everything. We got ammunition. We got medicine. Let's go ahead and pick up our cameras. Get some night vision and some batteries. Let's grab our rifle. Get some traps. Now, I kind of want to make this easy. First, I want to capture Bigfoot. And then I want to go find all the survivors. I want to get that bitch in the cage. Okay, let's grab some hamburgers, bro. Bigfoot loves hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Flare gun. Flares. I still don't know what the fuck these are used for. Probably multiplayer, but they look dope. Tracking bullets. And finally, some rope. And that's pretty much it. Now, here's what I want to do that I didn't do last time. Whenever Bigfoot steps into a trap, he gets pinned up for probably like five seconds. It may give us enough time to shoot him with a track bullet. So I'm going to set these traps up relatively close to the base where I can easily run to them and hopefully shoot him in his big furry dick. <sighs> okay, lay a trap. Let's, let's put it a little further away. Let's put it like right here. Throw some meat on that bitch, and we have to cover this trap up with leaves. Something we didn't do before. Okay, there we go. We hit V to cover it up. Let's see if, let's see if we can put more leaves on it. I, I, I don't have a clue. Nope. Okay, now let's set a camera up. I'm going to point it this way so that we can kind of see our trailer. That way we know which direction is which. Now when you hear him scream off in the distance, that means the stupid bastard has stepped on one of them things and stuff. Because we all know that this is not the real Bigfoot. The real Bigfoot is a kind, gentle giant that eats berries, plays with squirrels, and loves to read fashion magazine. His cologne is a mixture of bear dookie and petrified bear toenails. <laughs> All right, let's set this camera here. I know where this is because of the tree line. Set a trap right there. Throw some hamburger meat on it, bitch. Cover it with leaves. Okay, now we've got two traps set up. Let's go towards the northern part of our trailer and put another trap. Okay, let's go up this way. Just, just a taste. Through the brush line. Right about here. Let's put a camera. Drop a trap. Put some meat on that. Bitch. He probably stepped on it. I'm confused. Let's go see if he stepped on it. God, that's so loud. Did you step on my trap, bro? Huh? I don't think that he did. Nope, he didn't. I guess he just makes those noises when he's masturbating. It's kind of what I do. You gotta keep an eye out, Normie, bro. You gotta help me. Okay, so he stepped on absolutely fucking nothing. The last trap we'll put right here. There we go. Put a camera behind it, pointing at the trailer. There we go. Alright, now I want to load my track bullets up so that I may track this dirty bastard. Let's pull out a gun. Let's hit Z. Change the bullets. Reload it. And there we go. Now we only have to shoot him one time. I don't know how long these track bullets last, but we're going to find out. Now I think we need to take a nap. Wait for the sun to go down. Another hot spot for Bigfoot is up by the cabin. He's always up there. In fact, if I start running low on ammo, I know that there's some there and a health pack. Now the next time or the next episode I play for this game, we're gonna be doing some multiplayer on it. And there's also a new map that's about to drop. Can't wait to play that. A lot of you asked, why am I even playing this game? Because for one, it's fucking hilarious. Two, I've always wanted to hunt for Bigfoot ever since I was a kid. So it kind of appealed to me. And if you don't like this game, you're stupid, okay? So just go look in the mirror, look at yourself, and say, you're stupid, bro. Are you stupid? What have you done with your hair? You need to comb the shit, bro. I took him to Planet Salon and got his hair cut. It looks beautiful. 
I can't see your face. I don't think that he likes it, but he's just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> All right, and also in the live stream, I talked about doing a vote for a couple new games. I'm gonna be doing that as well. I don't know really how I'm gonna go about doing it. I might make a video and have you guys comment on what games you would like to see me play, newer games, that is. New or newer games, or even upcoming games. And then we'll do a straw poll, picking the best ones, and then we'll do a vote. And I'll say this, I'll remind you guys in, in the next couple videos. That way everybody sees it. Okay, shoot him in his dick with a track bullet. And then hit Q so that we can see where he is. There's all of our cameras. This map makes it incredibly easy. I'll tell you what I may do as well. I think I'm going to go up towards the cabin because he's always up there for some reason in that swamp. And I'm going to at least hit him with a track bullet because I know he'll be up there tonight. He, al he always is. Then I want to test and see how, these, how long these track bullets actually last. Oh, it's getting dark. There's the cabin. Let's turn on our flashlight. We've got some more ammunition. We're full, so we don't need it. I wonder if there's like a special gun. Ooh, a trap. Let's take that. I actually wouldn't mind setting that up, like right here. Hopefully he runs into it. I'm just gonna cover that bitch up. Let's go up in the deer stand. Take a gander around. Let's turn off our flashlight and wait. <gasps> he stepped on something. Dirty bastard. Which trap did he step on? It's not saying, but he stepped on one of them. He's over by my fucking trailer. Damn, that was fast. I'm a pretty good distance away. So I'm not gonna run over there, because by the time I get there, he's gonna be loose. Maybe if we turn the light on in the cabin. I'd say he's got night vision. <laughs> With those green ass eyes. Fucking big stupid alien fucker. Oh, it's thundering. <gasps> Scary. Where the oh, there it is. Let's turn this on. Maybe I'll draw his attention. Okay. Been waiting here for quite some time. It's still raining. I'm gonna head back to the cabin. Or the trailer. Because he's over in that general area. I got a feeling he's gonna run up and bitch smack us. Oh, he stepped on another one. Dude, he is stepping on all our traps. Okay, making our way back. Making our way back home. Walking fast, eating Doritos. And I smell like shit. I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna fuck you. And then I'll catch you in my cage. Beautiful song. Okay, let's see which traps he stepped in. Whoa. He stepped in that one. <laughs> Stupid bitch. And he stepped in that one. Okay. I don't think I've got any more meat. I may have to kill something. But once I hit him with this track bullet, I'm gonna fucking go after him. Like crazy. He thought he found a tasty morsel and snap! He did it twice. What a fucking idiot. <gasps> there he is. There he is. Okay, we hit him. I don't know if we hit him. He's hit me. Okay, that time I know I hit him. There he is. <laughs> deep shit, Mr. Bigfoot. All right, hit Z, change our ammo, reload. Let's go after him. He's coming back, he's coming back. Okay, he's moving again. Straight towards his ass. Whoa! I found a dead body. Where did where where was he? Oh no! It's Helga! Helga, no! Bigfoot bastard! Oh shit! Fuck you! Fuck you, Bigfoot! Ah, oh, reload. Okay, we fucked him up. Our health is low as shit. So, what do we do? I can't remember how to heal. H. Okay, we are back to full health. Let's hit Q. He's still over in this area. Let's see where he's at. He's right over here. He's coming back. Okay. 
Okay, he's running to the mountains. Let's see if we can cut him off. Oh, he's fast. Oh, shit. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. I'm gonna fuck you up. Okay, reload. That track bullet lasts a long time. We've almost got him half health already. Now he's going up towards the swamp. This is so much fucking easier. Oh my god. Okay, here he comes. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you, big boy! Fuck you! Ah! Reload, 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 reload. I'm gonna keep him in my sights. I'm gonna keep shooting. Yeah, you're in deep shit, buddy. <laughs> We've almost got him fucking killed, bro. He's almost got us fucking killed, too, though. I still see him. I want to stay up on the high grounds. Guess if we can track him. Oh, tracking bullet went away. Shit. Okay. Dude, we've almost got him killed already. So, let's head back to the trailer. Let's get some more health. And then he's as good as fucking done. We found a dead body. It was a chick. I kind of... Yeah, okay. It marked it on our map. Good. And I think that there's four survivors. I'm pretty sure. So we'll lock this bitch in a cage after we kill him. And we'll go look for those other survivors. I got a feeling he's going to show up at the trailer. <laughs> and there's still a couple traps that he hadn't stepped in. Okay, here we are, back home. This is this is like literally a hundred times easier. If they would have took the map out of this game, it would have made it more of a challenge. And the track bullets, of course. All right, there's our medicine. Let's hit H for health. And we're as good as healed. Hell, we don't even need the fucking cameras. Now I got a feeling he's gonna come back this way. I'm gonna go up and light this area with these fucking awesome flares. God bless, dude. Those flares are fucking gnarly. This is night one, and he's almost dead. We've got a couple more pieces of meat, so I'm gonna grab the last remaining two out of the refrigerator. Reset these traps. He stepped. Did he step on another one? Jesus. Okay, that that had to have been this one over here. Let's pull out our gun. I think I just saw him run. Yep, he stepped on it. <laughs> Stupid bitch. Well, that's... Wait a minute. He already stepped on that one. That's right. What am I thinking? He must have stepped on this one up here. <gasps> oh, God. That scared me. No, he didn't. He must have just been jerking off again. I could have swore I saw his health go down. Maybe not. All I know is if he runs up on us one more time, he's as good as dead. Throw some meat on it. Cover it up with leaves. Okay. Good. What was that? Sound like something hissed at me. That was weird. Okay, that one's back in action. Sun's coming up. Damn it, if we could track him during the day, man, it would be so easy. It's really it's really hard to find him during the day because I don't think he attacks. So if we can hit him with a track bullet during the day, let's go ahead and change over to our track bullets. Then we'll be able to kill him easy. There he is. I think we hit him. Yep, we hit him. Fucking A, he's dead. He's a dead motherfucker. Let's change our ammunition. Okay, now let's follow him. You're as good as dead, Bigfoot. God, he moves quick as shit during the day. Looks like he's going to his house. Where the fuck are you taking me, Bigfoot? Okay, he's wandering around in this area. We're going straight at him. He is right here. What the fuck? He's going up in the mountains. There he is. I see him. If we can just get close enough to him. There he is. He's running. Hit him again. Hit him again. Oh, he's almost dead. He ain't got nowhere to run. There he is. Got him. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. You're a stupid bitch. You know it? You're stupid. Let's tie this motherfucker up. All right. Find and catch Bigfoot. Put Bigfoot in the cage. Come on. You coming home with me, stupid bitch. This is going to be a long drag, man. Whoa. Found another dead body. No. It's General Custard. <laughs> Damn it, man. Why did you kill my boy? 
You fucking bitch, I'll kick you on the ground. That's two bodies we found. I've got a very weird suspicion that after a while he's gonna break loose. I don't know how true that is. Let's go ahead and reload, just in case. Alright, we made it back home. <laughs> Holy shit, that was a long ass walk. Alright, Mr. So-called Bigfoot. Alright. I've got him pinned up. What do you have to say for yourself, you stupid ass fucker? You killed my friends. He didn't expect me to have technology, did you? Well, that's how I caught you, you stupid fucker. Alright, now what I want to do is I want to find these remaining people. There's two more left. I accidentally found the first two. And I'm guessing, well, there, there's one more out there. There's got to be. Well, there's two more out there. Okay. We found Christine and we found Gordon. <laughs> me and Gordon, boy, we've had some times. We used to run train on Christine every camping trip. <laughs> Oh, that's wrong. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, look, a deer. Oh, fuck it. Oh, I missed it. All right, well, now that we're equipped with a map, we can actually look in certain places. So as you can see, we found two dead bodies. One right over here. One way the fuck over there on the other side of the fucking map. Let's look down south a bit. You know what? Let's not. Let's go up north, and I'll tell you why. Because I think I remember accidentally finding a body up there. Nah, fuck it. We'll go around the whole map. I can't make my mind up. Now, we'll know when we get close to him, because it makes that sound. Who needs night vision when you have a map? Now, I don't know if these people are randomly, like, generated in different spots. I'm not, I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. Okay, so we've been playing this for quite some time. And I searched all along the southern part of the map. I can't find shit. This is taking forever. So I'm going to go up north, I guess, towards his, uh... Up towards this cave area. God, it's so dark. It is impossibly fucking dark out here. I really don't... I really hope that it doesn't take me the same amount of time it took me to kill him in the first one. What is this? Canoes. Huh. That's cool. Oh, there's a tent. Wait a minute. This is the tent where he knocked over the tree in the first episode. Yeah, this is the little camp. I remember this shit. Let's see if there's any bodies over here. I'm gonna search around this area. Shit, I ran out of batteries. Fuck! Let's turn on our flashlight. <laughs> what the fucker? Holy fucking shit! What the fuck was that? My fuck, dude, my heart just jumped out of my goddamn asshole. Oh, what the fuck was that shit, man? God damn, that was loud! A fucking tree just burst into flames. God damn, dude, that was the one of the biggest jump scares I've ever been through. I had a tree just spontaneously fucking combusted. That makes a whole lot of fucking sense. Okay, oh fuck, I'm not really finding anything in this area. You would think that there would be a body over here because there's a camp, but I guess not. There's a lot of blood, but no people. Either that or one of them was on the rag. But this is definitely that camp where they got mauled. Okay, we're at the northern mountains. And this is where Bigfoot's home is. It's somewhere along this mountain. Oh, shit. Okay, you hear that hollow noise? That means we're close to his lair. Is this it? No, it's further up. You can kind of hear it. It sounds like a hollow anus. Here it is. Ooh, bats, looky here. We found it. He wasn't here before, so these things randomly spawn. That's my boy Dylan. Me and Dylan, man, we used to throw Cheetos at his granny. It was funny. She'd eat them out of the air. I'm sorry, Dylan. R.I.P., my friend. Ripperoni. I'm gonna take your shoes, though. Those things are dope. What? He didn't need them anymore. Okay, let's check our map. We've got one more body to find. Where could it be? Let's travel to the other side of the map. I don't know of any other specific spot it would be. I do know that there's a, tr a tree stand much further south, and it might be over there. Well, that's that's good. I'm glad these things like randomly spawn in every game. So they got that part right. One more body to find, and we will find them so that they can have proper burials. Now, what am I supposed to tell their fucking parents? 
Uh, yeah, your daughter or your son was mauled by, uh, Sasquatch. That's kind of suspicious. They'd probably think that I did it. They wouldn't believe it. Then I'd have to show them the cage in my truck and make them shit their pants. We almost got it, Normie. We almost done it. Thank you. Thank you for helping me, you stupid bitch. How do you like Normie's majestic hair? Let me know down in the comments section. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Okay, now I know there's a cabin. A secret cabin. I don't know where about on the map it is. I think it is south. It's absolutely south. Yep, it is. So it's, it's right over here. I wonder if we can get to that cabin. That would be dope. I think the last remaining survivor is a girl. I'm pretty sure. She's got some big ass knockers. Yep, this is it. There's the cabin. Whoever lives there is an asshole. There you go, bitches. Huh? Wake up! I'm down here fucking dying! So far, no dead body spotted. Let's comb the forest. I think I'm working up a shit. This is actually a nice, like, forest setting. I wish this was my back. Can you imagine if this was your fucking backyard? How unbelievably dope would that be? Now, as a kid, I know this is way off subject. I grew up with a forest in my backyard. It wasn't completely huge, but it was like a couple of acres. And let me tell you this. The forest, man. Any forest is the best place to grow up. You know, you obviously don't want like Daniel Boone National Forest or the Appalachian Mountains for your backyard because that could potentially be dangerous. But a wooded area, man, there's nothing like it. Nothing like it. Okay, here we are in this little canyon located here. This is a place that I haven't walked through yet. And I'm hearing like a hollow whistle. Is there another cave? As a matter of fact, I think there is. I think Bigfoot has a couple caves. Yeah, let's, I, I know exactly where it is. All right, let's go back through this canyon and it's off to the right. Hopefully we find the last body in there. Okay, here we are. Is anybody in here? No, just some dope ass cave paintings. Shit. Oh well. All right, check it out. Here we are right next to the cabin in the swamp. And look what I found. Oh shit, it ended the game automatically. What the fuck? Oh, it didn't end, okay. Who is this? That's Terrence, bro! I'm so sorry, Terrence. I remember fingering your sister, and I didn't mean to do it. She told me she liked the way my underwear looked when it was on backwards. I know she was your little sister, but she was still 25. Let me make sure. Let me look around. Now, I'm doing this because I want to marry your sister. I just got to make sure. Okay, there's a giant hole in your head now. Okay, man. Let's hit enter and let's end the game. See if there's anything different about finding all the passengers. You caught one, but others will come. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna stay here. What happens? Okay, enter to skip then. Wow, there was nothing different about that ending at all. I would like these guys to add a lot more to this game. It's got a good foundation. The forest setting is great, but wow. Once you figure out the game, it's extremely easy to beat. Hell, it was more interesting when I didn't know about the map or the track bullets. <laughs> it was a lot more challenging. But hell, even just use this forest for something else. Do something with it. Holy shit. Alright, well that does it for this episode. If you liked it, please, for the love of fucking God, finger that like button. It helps my videos get seen. And if you want to be my friend, hit the subscribe button, buddy. Also... If you want to chat with me, go like my Facebook page, especially if you want to keep up to date with what's going on. And if you want to help support my dream of maybe one day doing this full time, go check out my Patreon. All donators, $10 and up. Get the voice chat with me in my personal Discord and play games on occasion. It's dope. Instagram, Snapchat, t-shirts, P.O. Box, all that funky shit is down in the description. Go look at all of it. Follow me everywhere. I love you guys. And a friendly word of advice. Um, I, I don't have one. Normie, help me out, man. A friendly word of advice. Say something. Alright, well, fuck you then. Ow. He's got a hard fucking head. <laughs>